Right, just a quick video today on how to tension your main drive chain. You can see mine uh, has come loose. And what I was getting when I was riding the uh, mowing was that the mower was jolting forward like this. Uh, something was slipping. And I'd say because of the slackness in the chain uh, that has occurred, the cogs catching on the next link instead of you know being flush and, and, and continuously going around. So that's a, an adjustment here. Uh, I imagine it'd be pretty much the same sort of setup on most green fields. Um, this is a solid shaft to your clutch. I've explained that before in another video. You can check that out if you haven't seen it. Uh, called sticking sticking clutches, and it's a direct shaft to the chain to a big cog on the inside of the wheel here just drives the mower forward or reverse depending which side the clutch you got your pedal pressed so yeah you can see there's a fair bit of slack in that chain and it's I can sort of pull that way up off the cogs here so that says really needs retensioning so all I've done is loosen these two bolts uh, you just loosen these two bolts first, so the main shaft that holds this tension pulley here uh, will push the chain further in and create more tension on the chain itself onto the cog, the main cog in this one too. So it's a matter of just unloosing them so the shaft is free and then this is your adjustment. Uh, we obviously want it to go that way to put more pressure on the chain. So we need to turn this one towards the front of the mower. So we loosen that to give us our distance we need. And then we're going to adjust that, adjust that forward, which is going to push this back if you understand the reason. And that's just the lock nut set up, of course. We'll just see how we're going here. better. I think it should still do a bit more. While you've got all the work, give it a good spray of course. Always nice. These things need put some good maintenance. I sprayed these bolts earlier just to make sure they wouldn't get any trouble. We'll go a bit more so we'll loosen him up. So we can take this one a bit further, further forward. It's a lot tighter now. So that might do it, I think. You can just lock that in by locking it onto that bar. Right, and then we do up our actual shaft to make sure that it's not a, it's nice and sturdy again. So we just. And there we go, and that's all there is to it. It's nice and tight now. Thought I could move that around quite freely. So that will fix that problem. And the sooner you get onto this sort of thing, the the, the better because uh, obviously you can do damage you can end up breaking the chain breaking teeth off of the main cog down here things like that so if you feel your mower doing a bit of this business then you know that your your drive belt and all of that is in good nick and tension right it's going to be this chain until next time